Morning children, Teacher Mike here. Today is Monday and we're gonna get started with our week and get started with our calendar. So let's check out our months of the year. We have our sun in the middle and the months of the year go around it with our earth. So here we go. January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November and December. These are the months of the year, and there are 12 months in the year. Tell me, what month are we in? Yeah, we are in April. A for April, right there. All right, we're going to come down here to our days of the week. So we have April 2020. These are our days of the week. So throw up four fingers. No, throw up eight fingers. No, throw up seven fingers. There are seven days in the week, you know. See if you can sing them. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's the end. Those are our seven days of the week. And today is Monday, so we got to write fill in numbers until we reach Monday. So the last time we were here was Friday the 17th. So the next number after 17 is, yeah, 18. And if I'm doing my pattern still, after blue will be red. So 18, and the 18th was on a Saturday. After Saturday, we come all the way back over here to Sunday, and I'm going to drop down here. I want to keep my pattern going of blue, red, blue, red. So after red 18, I need to do blue 19. And if I look up, the 19th was Sunday. That was yesterday. That was on the weekend. So then after Sunday the 19th will be Monday. The what number? Yeah, 20th. Two, zero. All right, and look, it's red. And it's even because it ends in a zero. So let's count by twos. Count with me. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Wow, that's pretty cool. We counted by twos to 20 because 20 is even. It ends in a zero, which means it's even. All right, now we're going to come on over to our word of the day. So we're going to go right below our last word of the day, which was baby. So our word of the day today is T-H-E-Y-V. So help me spell it and read it with me. T-H-E-Y-V. Again, T H E Y they one more time T H E Y they 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 and they is a pronoun that we use to talk about other people so it could be a group of people I might say they are playing soccer over there or it might be a one person if someone says where is Josiah I could say they are at home okay so you use they to replace someone's name or just talk about a group of people. So make sure you write they on your word wall. And now you get to come up with a sentence with they in it. I'm gonna say, they are playing soccer over there. They are playing soccer over there. Six words, very cool. And they starts with a th sound. And when we're writing th sound, we need a T and an H. All right cool stuff. All right, friends, um, before we do phonemic awareness, I saw a lot of people upload words that rhymed with Sam on our classroom. So I want to say thank you for that. Um, on Friday, I did a video with baby Sam and I asked people to comment on our classroom uh, with some words that rhyme with Sam. And there's lots of cool rhyming words on there. So you should check it out. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> we're going to start with phonemic awareness, and today I'm going to give you a sound, and then I want you to come up with a word that rhymes with it, okay? Actually, give me two words that rhyme with each of these. So I'm going to start with ack. So give me two words that rhyme with ack, like back or lack, and I want you to come up with two words, okay? So you can pause it if you need to. 
All right, the next one, come up with two words that rhyme with ale. Rhyme two words with ale. You can pause it if you need to. And then ain, two words that rhyme with ain. Good. Ache, two words that rhyme with ache. Good. Give me two words that rhyme with app. Good. Last one, give me two words that rhyme with ash. Very good, children. That was awesome. All right, so now I'm going to tell you two words in a row, and I want you to say um, starts the same or doesn't start the same, okay? So this one's a little bit tricky, though, because I'm going to say two words, and I want you to tell me if they both start with the same vowel. So if they both start with O, you'll be like, starts the same. If one starts with O, one starts with A, don't start the same. Okay, so tell me if they start with the same vowel. Own, O, starts the same. Use, us, starts the same. Apple, alley, starts the same. I'm, icky, starts the same. That had a long I, I'm, and short I, I icky, but same vowel, cool. Elevator, East starts the same. Olive, October starts the same. Ugly, up starts the same. Ape, arm starts the same. I, aisle starts the same. Eek, eel starts the same. Good job, those all started with the same vowels. Maybe next time they won't all start with the same. All right, I'm gonna get out my chopper. Poosh, and now I want you to blend these words together. P, a, k, er. Good. L, e, t, er. Good. S, i, t, er. Good. H, a, p, er. Good. R, a, n, er. Good. L A T er. Good. R E D er. Good. H I K er. Good. H O M er. Good. F U L er. Good job. All right, put away those choppers. And we are cruising. I gotta turn the page. Now, ooh, this one's cool. I'm gonna say a word and I want you to repeat it. Then we're gonna change the vowel sound in the word from a short vowel to a long vowel, okay? So first one is can. Change the a ah to a. Cane. So we change from a short a ah to a long a. Good. Next one is bit. Change the i to i. Good. Rob. Change the a ah to o. Good. Sam. Change the a ah to a. Cool. That had Sam in here. Cool. Spin. Change the i to i. Good. Bed. Change the e to e. Good. Cut. Change the a to u. Good. Quit. Change the i to i. Quite. Win. Change the i to i. Good. Fat. Change that a ah to a. Good job, everybody. That was awesome. We did great with our phonemic awareness. So now we're going to do our sight would shake. Our sight would shoulder shake. Our sight would shoulder shake. I'm going to hold up some words. These are sight words. I will say them the first time, and then you can get them. I'm going to do them two times. 
and then you'll get a chance to do them without me. Okay, so we have was for are on he good we're gonna do it again was for are on he good now you get to do it without me so here we go Good job, everybody. All right. So next up, we're going to do a writer's workshop. And the question today is, um, ooh, it's a long one. Let's read it together. What colors would you want to be if you were a poison dart frog? Okay, so a poison dart frog is a very colorful frog that's an amphibian. They live in the rainforest and they're very brightly colored. They're usually at two colors and they're super brightly colored because they want to tell other animals, hey, here I am, you can find me whenever you want. So you might think, but that means then predators will eat them. Well, here's the tricky part. They're really brightly colored to remind predators that if you eat me, you'll get sick. So you can find me really easily, but if you eat me, you'll, you will get sick. So they're very brightly colored, and I've attached a picture of some poison dart frogs to this, um, to this video on our classroom, so please look at the video. I mean, please look at the picture so you can see some examples of how brightly colored they are. And for your writer's workshop, you get to answer, what colors would you want to be if you were a poison dart frog? Okay, so let me move my camera so I can show you how I would do it. All right, so here is my writer's workshop. So I'm gonna write teacher Mike at the top. And the date today is April, so it's a four, it's the fourth month, four dash 20, because it's the 20th day of April, dash 20 for the year 2020, cool. So the colors I would want to be if I was a poison dart frog, I would be red and light and sky blue. So I, would want to be red and sky. If a word ends with the sound I, it's probably a Y. Not all the time, but probably. Sky blue if I was that was one of our words to our sports site word words. If I was a poison dart frog. All right. I would want to be red and sky blue if I was a poison dart frog. And then up here I get to draw a poison dart frog. So they can be a little bit tricky to draw, so I'm going to show you a little way to do it. You start with an oval. So an oval is a round shape that's bigger at the bottom than at the top. Kind of looks like an egg, right? And then I'm going to do an, a leg right here and a leg right here. And then a back leg over here. I don't want to, let's go like this. And a back leg over here. And then I'm gonna do some eyes and a nose. Okay, so this is the top view of my frog. And I want it to be red. So I'm gonna do some big red 
stripes. I'll make this one be red, and this leg be red, and sky blue. So this is sky blue. Sky blue is kind of like a light blue. It's also kind of like the blue that the sky is, so it's called sky blue. Do this one, sky blue, and this leg, sky blue. So this is a picture of my poison dart frog from above. Okay, so you start with an oval, and then you can color it the colors that you want. All right, I hope everybody has a good day. Bye-bye.